This is a little throwback from episode one, but these are the stock tires and they are not good in the mud. Well, that's what hunting season looks like in the garage. Put the bigger tires on the Can-Am and the Honda. We're smoking some beef jerky from that caribou we shot, where the West kid shot. Hunter got a new machine, been saving his money up, and he just bought a brand new stock base model Honda Rancher 424x4. Yeah, those tires look wicked awesome. I think that was my ingenious hack to start with. It's <laughs> my MacGyver skills right there. Well, it was a long and nasty ride in. Not as bad as last year, but check this out. All of our firewood is still here from last year. It doesn't get much better than that. It does not get much better than that. It fell over, but I don't think anybody's been here. Let's get everything ready to go, I guess. Hey. It's time to set up camp, not the glass. I know. You guys better get at it. If you watched episode one, everybody is like beat from working at that subway. It's just been like nonstop. So this is like finally some relaxation. Our plan was just to have like an easy couple days of camp. She's trying. At least I can hit it. Let me go. Moose season is open, primarily a sheep hunt, but we still call morning and evenings when we're around. We were driving down valley and saw a sheep up here. I saw it. But then saw a dark spot on the next valley over, hill over. And it's a big old grizzly bear, brown and blonde on its back. Hey, stuff. I see a sheep. This is the one that we're talking about. So. Uh, the game plan is we're probably going to let it go because I don't feel comfortable shooting it and having it roll 100 feet, 200 feet to the bottom. I don't think that's a good plan. But I know it's going to roll. It's steep enough. I've watched them. They'll just they'll roll. If it were a gradual gentle slope, we'd just shoot it and let it roll. But it, it's going to hit rocks all the way down. I think it's probably better to let it go. 
These are the perfect blueberries. They've been frosted a few times. They're soft and sweet. Ooh. Noon, day two. We saw a grizzly bear, a wolf, and some sheep, but the rams we did see were way, way up high, and now we're all clouded in. So clouds are covering the sheep. There's one that keeps poking out of the clouds over here. So I'm gonna keep an eye on it. I'm gonna take a nap. Well, the mountains were fogged in, so we all took a nap. Bruce was the last one to fall asleep and was busy at work. Ben hasn't seen yet. Your shoes, Ben. <laughs> it's a, that's what the whistling was, Hunter. Yeah. When you said some, you said who was whistling. <whistles> what is he doing? He's like, you see him? Mm -hmm. well, three. I think he's eating Bruce's clothes. I think we're gonna have to put the food kind of away. I've got a real clean camp going on there. Hot dog buns. Like our camp pet. Chester. I think, I don't know what it's eating. Hunter, do not try to pet it. No. Bruce, don't move. Oh boy. It's in the tent. Death. It's in. Is the lid on dinner? Oh, wait, it's out. It's out. It's taking its dirt back again. Here, watch this. That's the dig roll. While the weather is nice and it is beautiful out there, the cloud cover and the fog are, you can't sheep hunt. So we just stay at camp and do some calling. Fogged in again this morning, rain. Uh, we left early, we went to the other side of the valley, and we're in some country we haven't been in before. It looks, it looks good. We're gonna hike all the way back this drainage as far as we can and just see, see what we see. Last year I had some negative comments from a guy who saw us drinking out of the creek and he said beaver fever giardia you're going to get sick and although it can and does happen most people i know that have got beaver fever have had it from direct contact with beavers all this clear water coming off the glacier is perfectly fine and we do not filter it So I don't know how far we hiked, a few miles. It, anyway, we spotted, kind of cleared up a little bit and we spotted a couple sheep. There's that hill that's in the sun that's going up to the right. 
and there was two sheep around that on the other mountain. I think they're rams. No spotting scope, just have binoculars. We're gonna get a little closer and see. Unless you get up high and stay up high, these creek crossings are pretty much inevitable. I think next year we're going to try to get like some of those pullover boot waders. Got pretty miserable. I wasn't feeling real good, but now that I've seen the sheep and maybe had some trail mix, I'm a little bit more optimistic. I think we could do this. We'll see. Packs are empty, tents are set up, and there's some sheep right back there. So we got up here, and there's three more rams right above us, right up there. They can see us, but the one's just bedded down, the other two are feeding, so we're just gonna, we're gonna cut up and around see if we can't get past them maybe up on top of them nothing else we can do these were not the rams we were going after we just got around the corner and they were there but they could see us so we just moved on to the others okay so those three rams are still there they've been in the clouds the whole time but the original three are still right behind us so even if we spook these ones we're going to have to go up, but we can still have a shot at these other ones. So we climb all the way up there. We get to where we can see the rams, and the clouds move in, and they're completely covered up. We see them for a second, and then they're gone. That was a long, hard hike, but we didn't get the sheep. Fog's too thick. Yes, there is. Not really any choice but to go back. Did you do it again? You failed. You can't get them all. Right? <laughs> <laughs> Can we talk loud now? No. You might see something. It's gonna be late. It's late when we left the top of the mountain and we're pretty sure we're gonna be walking off in the dark. We probably should have just stayed at spike camp, but there you go. We left at eight ish. It's ten o'clock and we just got back to camp. We're all kinda of wet and cold and sore. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna get a shoot for It's not that cold out at least. The only person having fun. I didn't say I was having fun, I was being optimistic. Oh. Ben's having a solitary morning over there. I don't think he's quite ready for the day or to face the rest of us. But he did just finish his cup of coffee. So, you know, things might be looking up. Or not. Nobody woke up real early and nobody is doing real good. Well, myself included. The four ibuprofen helped. Okay, so this is where me and Hunter were sleeping. This morning, you can see the sheep trail up here going this way. So this mound right here, when I woke up, there were, there were two rams just kind of feeding away from us. 
they went up and over. It's deceiving, that looks really close, but I can't get it to range in my range finder. That mound, that mound is probably 1,500 yards away. Um, by the time we saw him, it was, I don't know. My socks are wet. And my boots were a little bit frozen, so I was like pulling my frozen boots on. They're probably too far away to do anything about anyway, but we're kind of debating whether we should go look at those or turn around and go back up the valley and see if we can get on the other sheep. But that makes a total of eight rams we've seen back here and we can shoot any ram. We went up looking for those rams that we saw early in the morning. That didn't work out. And we ended up spotting the rams that we spooked the day before. Okay, well, those rams did come down. They're around in there. We thought we could just side hill around here, but we got a gorge here where the sheep trail kind of ends and it goes all the way up and all the way down there's our tents Those sheep are right in there, kind of hidden in them rocks. Might as well be on the moon. Six o'clock, it's really cold, but we're about to go up the mountain to try and find sheep. And we better get one today, because we're not doing this again. It may not seem like much, but we are hiking a lot. It's cold and nobody's got enough clothes to be warm unless you're hiking. And it is way steeper than it looks. Okay, we just made the hike up. Kind of arduous, but we got up here. And those rams, those rams are like 600 yards away. Just over the top of this knoll. So we're just gonna belly crawl up there and see if we can get in range. Might just have to wait them out. They're just over the top of this. The way it ended up working out, we only really got good video of the sheep that we ended up shooting, there were three rams in this group. The one in the front was definitely the biggest. This one, well, we can shoot any ram, so this one is phenomenal. They were all nice, but this is the one we got the video of. We had watched this group of rams um, for a morning and an afternoon. And the morning before, the three rams had fed on this hillside and then went down and to the left. If they had done that this day, then we could have climbed up and over the top and shot down at them from maybe 150 to maybe like 250 yards really nice shot but what ended up happening what stephanie and madison and them couldn't see was the other three rams had fed around the corner and i was pretty sure they were going to be leaving so this ram was our only shot the only one that we could get
I fell hard on my rifle the day before, and when I shot, it was way low. Hunter hit it on the first shot, or the second shot, I don't really know, but later we'd find it, it was a mortal shot, but it didn't do a whole lot of damage. At this point, we thought it was over. Hunter had hit it early, and then it went around the bowl, and now we're shooting at like 420, and we, it, I mean, it fell over. We thought it was down, dead, but that was not going to be the case. Good job, guys. We look over, and it rolled down that hill, and it just stood back up again, like it hadn't been hit. Oh, hit. Oh, you got it. Good shot. Nice job. Oh, He's, no. oh, oh God. God. <laughs> again. Nice. Stephanie shot again, and that was the last hurrah. We're off to retrieve the sheep. So basically what happened was Hunter hit it good, but that bullet did not expand well. It was just too far for that 243. It would have killed it, and it was the kill shot, but it took more. A lot more horn, I think. He's not broomed? Not broomed, no. Nice. Can you pick him up, Steph, a little bit? Uh, oh. Uh, oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I don't know if you'd call it. I don't know what you call it for curl because it's it flared. So wide, yeah. Flared out so far. Oh, I'd say. Mm. Watch out, it might slide here, boys. Here, Hunter, move around so I can see you. I can't even see you. All right. Yeah, it's in there. You got it? Yeah, it looks like it should be warm. But I am, like, shaking cold. But I won't be in a minute. We're going to take that sheep tail across and then follow that ridge down and hopefully we won't have to cross the creek when we get down there. We did it. <laughs> yep. I got... It doesn't look bad. I hit myself with a scope. You go, Peter. Anyway. Uh, everything that's still in the shade is still frosty cold. and cold yeah cold. get out here in the sunlight and get some water that was too cold to drink anything all right well that's about where we shot the sheep it was there you can just see in the center of the screen those are our tents i think we can get out of here and get back to base camp in one day but Pretty nice. It seems like it always takes three or four attempts for us to actually get a ram. But that feeling of walking off of the mountain with meat in your pack is incredible. Everybody was pretty stoked.
good, Hunter? Maybe. All right. I feel like I'm gonna fall over backwards. But. I think everybody is loaded. Get out of here. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Okay. operation. <laughs> Bend over and pick it up. No need to bend yeah, over. Dad, you bend Golly. You couldn't touch your toes. What do you got in there? Yeah, you might actually be able to touch I can too touch my toes. Do it. <laughs> do it? Not right now. <laughs> <laughs> what is he even doing? Madison looks so happy. I see the brush moving. They're making it. It's just like swimming, except it's not any fun. It makes you dragging Hunter through like a wounded soldier. Maybe he's dragging her through. Oh yeah, that's the worst of it there. Oh, it's way, way better. Oh, getting easier and easier all the time. Got all the new off of that thing. Bang, scratched up. There's our tracks from coming in and grizzly tracks right on top of it. Yeah, every once in a while you just get lucky and you got the you know you get your camera on at the right time so you know it's nice to see stephanie mess up yeah we've been avoiding crossing this thing because it's raging today but we pretty much have to at that rock wall behind us. I think we've got one more crossing. We've crossed it four times. Uh, we'll see. I think we're we're getting close. All right, I gotta put this down and help Hunter get his pack off. How you doing, Hunter? Not good. Not good? You don't look good. Why didn't she let Madison carry that the last couple hundred yards? She's not, she's not gonna steal my credit. I packed it all the way down here. All right. I'd have handed it off. I'm prepping the sheep ribs. Here, come here for a second. So, one side of the rib, you see right there is a perfect little tiny hole. I'm pretty sure that's a 243. So, the angle wasn't right, but he hit it. 
All right, what, you want a little one? Little one. Yeah, there's plenty, so. We're probably gonna eat the whole entire side of the beef ribs tonight. Can you tell mom they're ready? Ooh. I think the plan was to leave today so we could go get that ram sealed and go moose hunting. Stephanie is staring at sheep on the mountain ready to go again. Well, I think she's gonna have to go by herself. Hunter wants to go with her actually. Don't ask me why. Of course he does. And watch you gnaw on it. Is it a ram? Six. Madison, get your stuff on. Ha. Uh, no. No? I'm gonna kill the sheep and I'm gonna eat it. You gonna eat it? Get every little piece off of there, huh? Yeah. And so we we leave. We head out six days. Six days, it doesn't seem like a long time. It's not a long time, but a lot of good memories. It's incredible watching those sheep, and it's incredible being out there with them in that country. And the beauty of the place, some of those foggy mornings where you couldn't hunt, it just burned into your memory. Just makes you think about next year and how that'll go and what's coming up next. But all in all, this was one of the better hunts I've been on. I'm just gonna watch you gnaw on it. So with the uh, auxiliary jack MacGyvered together in the truck, one of our traditions is we we. Uh, Turned the music up and we drove home and thought about everything we did and everything we do and what was coming next.